Onk Live Insights is a video editorial program produced by Onk Live. And how do you incorporate um, the EGFR targeted agents tuximab? I know there's been some recent clinical trial data on that product. Yes, in fact, uh, lots of clinical trial data on specifically cetuximab. That, of course, is the only approved EGFR inhibitor in squamous cell carcinoma of the head and neck. And there are multiple ways that one can incorporate cetuximab in the treatment of HPV-positive cancers. By far, the most common way is in combination with radiation. Uh, we know that from phase three data that the addition of cetuximab to radiation therapy alone is better by better, I mean better local regional control and better overall survival than radiation therapy alone. In fact, that trial that added cetuximab to radiation yielded a 10% absolute improvement in overall survival at three and at five years with cetuximab radiation. And that now is level one evidence for the, treat for the use of cetuximab with radiation in locally advanced head and neck cancers. At this year's American Society of Clinical Oncology, what we saw were data looking at the effect of HPV on the efficacy in that study. In other words, the investigators asked the question, did it matter if a patient was HPV positive or HPV negative when applying cetuximab and radiation in the curative approach setting? And the answer was no. HPV positive patients and HPV negative patients appear to benefit to the same degree. So when we're beginning to select therapy for HPV positive patients, we can be reassured that cetuximab radiation is going to be as effective and going to yield the same degree of benefit in an HPV positive patient as an HPV negative patient. Can you comment a little bit on the extreme clinical trial and how that data impacted your clinical practice? The extreme clinical trial is now a different clinical setting. Extreme was in a population of recurrent and metastatic disease. These are patients, of course, who unfortunately are no longer curable and we're treating them with palliative intent. The extreme study took patients who had never been treated for their recurrent and metastatic disease and randomized them to receive either a commonly used doublet, cisplatin 5-FU. In fact, the investigator could choose either cisplatin or carboplatin. This was a trial done exclusively in Europe, and platinum 5-FU is a commonly used doublet in Europe. And the experimental arm added cetuximab. Cetuximab during chemotherapy, so it became a triplet regimen in the experimental arm, and then after a maximum of six cycles, of chemotherapy continuation of cetuximab only in the experimental arm until either intolerance or disease progression. And what we saw from that study were a number of things. First of all, cetuximab could be combined successfully with chemotherapy. Really, the expected toxicity was seen when one would add cetuximab, so the cutaneous toxicities, a low rate of infusion reactions, nothing surprising with respect to toxicity but was, was really nice to see, and in fact, the first clinical trial to ever show a difference in recurrent metastatic disease was that cetuximab improved efficacy. It improved overall survival, going from about seven months to 10 months. It improved progression-free survival, going from about three months to just over five months, and it improved response rate, going from about 20% in the control arm to 35, almost 35% in the experimental arm. And based on these data, cetuximab was approved for the treatment of recurrent metastatic first-line patients in combination with chemotherapy. One other thing to note in the extreme trial that wasn't in the primary publication, but in a subsequent uh, uh, study or subsequent manuscript was that the addition of cetuximab also improved quality of life. And, and that makes sense if we look at it. If we have an agent that can successfully shrink tumors that can successfully control disease, with that we have an improvement in quality of life for these patients. And now I would consider the extreme regimen of a platinum 5-FU cetuximab as a standard of care for first-line recurrent metastatic patients.